Hello everyone and welcome to the first Bronx Science Virtual Open House. My name is Lola Murti and I'm a senior from Astoria, Queens. We're so excited to show you all that Bronx Science has to offer. So to start us off, let's hear some words from our principal, Ms. Hoyle. Hi, I'm Principal Hoyle. Welcome to our virtual open house. You're going to meet some of our students today who are going to share with you how Bronx Science has been formational for them, how it's helped them understand who they are to discover their identity and how it's helped them develop their critical thinking skills. Bronx Science is a place where no matter what you're interested in, no matter who you are, we're going to help you learn to think scientifically. We're going to help you um, engage with the world around you in a way that asks questions and solves problems. Um, it's a place where, where you can get involved. You'll see from our students all the different ways that they've gotten involved, whether it's through sports or speech and debate or science Olympiad. There's a place for you to, to plug in um, and to learn and grow together with some of the, the best students in the country. Uh, Bronx Science has a long history of excellence, and I hope that you'll consider joining us and being a part of that lesson. Thank you, Ms. Hoyle. Now let's go meet our student panelists. Hi, my name is Sophie Peritsky and I'm a senior. I live on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. I am the student body president and I am involved in public forum debate, varsity lacrosse, and National Honor Society. Hi, my name is Luca and I'm a senior. I live in Manhattan and am president of the Philosophy Club as well as captain of policy debate. Hi, I'm Noelle. I'm a senior. I have been the speech captain for the past years on our speech and debate team. I am a part of the drama department and have acted in all eight of our shows. Hi everyone, I'm Smama Muntaha. I'm a senior and I live in Jackson Heights, Queens. I'm the director of Wolverine TV, our news and entertainment broadcast, editor-in-chief of the Science Survey, our school newspaper, and a member of our Big Sit program, where we mentor, prepare, and guide incoming freshmen as they transition into this new school. Hi, my name is Chris Shaw and I'm a senior from Flushing, Queens. Here at Bronx Science, I'm the president of the Model UN team, a member of the Judicial Board, and I'm involved with the National Honor Society. Hello everyone, my name is Diana Campbell and I'm a junior this year at our school. I live in the Bronx, I'm 10 minutes away from Bronx Science, which was always nice and convenient for me in the mornings. I am an athlete, I play volleyball, and I'm the captain of the indoor and outdoor track team. And I am also on three branches of student government, student organization, cabinet, Senate and the Senior Council. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Arjun Mazumdar. I'm a senior at our school. Um, proud to be representing Brooklyn, New York. I currently serve as captain of the Congressional Debate Team. I'm also a director on the Big Sibs program. And I'm also uh, part of the math research program, program at our school where I, I'm conducting original research at Microsoft Research Labs. Hello everyone, my name is Shadi Megbasi and I am a senior here at Bronx Science. I am the president of the National Honor Society, captain of the girls' outdoor track team, indoor track team, and cross-country team, and I'm also part of the coordinating committee of the Anti-Racist Coalition, which is a group we founded here at Bronx Science to help combat racism. I'm also from Jamaica, Queens, New York. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm a junior, and I'm from Queens. At this school, I'm a director of the League of Presidents, which basically means that I manage and oversee the many clubs that are offered here at this school. Hi, I'm Rhea. I'm a senior and I'm from Forest Hills and Queens. I am the captain of the Iron Maidens, the all-girls robotics team at our school. And I am the chief of graphic design at our school's yearbook, the observatory. Hi, my name is Miss Brooks. I'm an English teacher here at Bronx Science. I teach ninth grade and also 12th grade AP literature and creative writing. I'm also the advisor of two clubs, uh, the UNICEF club and also the fashion club. Tell us about some of your favorite classes and how the class schedule works here at Bronx Science. Sure, so let me just comment on what initially drew me to Bronx Science, which was the status of being so academically rigorous. I'm taking six classes this year. My favorite class is my AP English Literature class, and it's for a reason that you'll see in a lot of classes, which is the focus that my teacher puts on collaboration. I have been a team player, call it my background in athletics, but I've always loved you know, talking to people, getting different perspectives, being 
I got this answer right, which is always nice before you have to present it to the class. And our teachers know that our students learn better and feel more engaged and productive when they have that person next to them. It isn't the kind of challenge that's gonna feel like a burden. It's the kind of challenge that keeps you stimulated, the kind of challenge that keeps you knowing that you have so much more to go. Your classes during your four years of Bronx Science are going to look pretty different from your freshman to senior year. So in your freshman year, everyone pretty much gets the same classes as each other, which is super great for getting introduced to the school, establishing camaraderie with your peers, because it's really easy to create study groups when you're all taking the same classes. It's a great way to get to know each other. But then as you move through your years, you're going to start getting the opportunities to take honors, APs, post APs, specialized classes that teachers at Bronx Science create that can only be taken at Bronx Science, which are all really fantastic opportunities. And Bronx Science also takes into account classes you may have taken in middle school. For example, I took the Living Environment Regents when I was in middle school, so they didn't have me retake that class all over again. I started freshman year in chemistry, but you do still need to fulfill your biology requirements. So I personally took horticulture, which is the study of plants, and it ended up being one of my favorite classes at Bronx Science. Some of our lab days, we went outside into the Bronx Science Gardens and contributed to them, which was a great way to take the class and also give back to the community. What are the teachers like, and how would you describe the relationship between the student body and the faculty? Okay, so I love my students, and I feel like out of all of the things that are great about teaching and about my subject matter, the students are what make this career the best. And so one of the things that's really cool about my situation here is that I teach ninth and 12th grade. So actually, um, Sophie who's here had me when she was a ninth grader and now I have her again as a 12th grader. And so I've been able to watch her grow. And even, even when I don't have a student anymore, I still feel like we're all connected. And so one of the best parts about my day is when I don't have a class, sometimes students will pop in and say hello and I can stay connected with them over the course of those four years. Here at Bronx Science, even if you have a teacher just for one period of your freshman year, the relationship you built with them stays throughout your high school. The relationships here at Bronx Science don't just end once you leave the classroom, but they stay with you for the rest of your time in Bronx Science and even after Bronx Science. For students that may be struggling, tell us about some of the support systems offered by our school. After ninth period, we have 10th period, also known as SGI, or small group instruction. That's where you can go to meet with some of your teachers and work in small groups or even one-on-one -on -one and ask questions, go over homework, or even just chat. I really enjoy going there to get some homework done and ask questions that show up along the way. It really helps me to be prepared for the content that I'm studying. One other academic support that you can also take advantage of are the National Honor Society tutors. If you need extra help in a subject, you can sign up for a tutor and then you'll be matched with one. Additionally, another support offered to Black and Latino students is the Skin Folk Mentorship Program. Through this program, you are matched with a Black or Latino mentor that has a that has similar interests with you. I am a member of the, I don't know if you can read it, but Bronx Science SO Cabinet. And I know that this has been a personal initiative of ours, which is to make sure that we are protecting and supporting the social emotional, emotional wellness of our students. And so I've seen this here. What we've taken on to ensure that that's happening, I think is, is brilliant. I remember recently we held a guided meditation session in which our teachers helped lead students through what was a pretty stressful week for at least the seniors who were submitting in their college applications. But we had teachers offer breathing meditation and a mindfulness meditation after school for our students, which was helpful. What if you're not a big science or STEM student? Is Bronx Science good for you? And what would your experience be like if you're more humanities oriented? Bronx Science is definitely not a school just for STEM students. I have always been a humanities student, and when I was looking at Bronx Science, their humanities department is actually one of the biggest things that drew me to this school. So just last year, I took a history and English class, and both of my teachers had doctorates in their respective fields. So our humanities program does not just exist, it is thriving with some of the best teachers uh, that you could get. And 
Even in STEM classes, Bronx Science really places an emphasis on interdisciplinary learning. For example, the class that I'm taking this year is called Green Design and Technology, which takes a look at environmental science and environmental engineering through whatever lens you want it to be through. So I'm personally looking at it through the lens of environmental policy, uh, which lets me bring in a humanities background to it and elevates uh, my STEM experience. I had somewhat of the opposite experience. Um, when I applied to Brown Science, I was really not interested in humanities at all. I had a love for math and science, but I really just, I did not enjoy English and social studies. But when I got to Brown Science, I was so surprised by the incredible faculty in all of the humanities departments that um, I really just, I developed an appreciation for history and English and all the social studies subjects that I've taken. Um, we have specialization in almost every subject you can think of, and um, I've, I've loved taking all the science electives and math electives that I have, but I've also taken some really, really interesting social studies and English courses. If you have a long commute like most of the students here do, how do you balance a heavy workload and extracurriculars? All right, so the first thing I want to say about the issue of commuting is that I know that it might be a scary thought for many of you, but remember that Almost every single Bronx Science student that I know has a commute time of upwards of 45 minutes, either by bus or by train. So you're by no means in this alone. Decades and decades of Bronx Science students have adapted to the lengthy commute and you will do the same thing. You'll be very effective at it by the time uh, you hit sophomore year even. Um, so you will learn the tricks of the trade and you won't be doing it alone. All right, so that's the first thing to understand. The second is use your commute time effectively uh, whatever that means to you. So uh, for me, I have an hour and a half one-way commute from uh, like middle Brooklyn all the way to the Bronx on the four train. I ride the whole uh, the train line about 25 stops. So I get to see lots of colorful characters, but I don't get a lot of sleep. So what I decided to do was take a nap during my commute. Um, that way I'm refreshed for school and for doing homework on the way back. I take Valo to get to school, which is a bus service that is separate but uh, affiliated with Bronx Science. Uh, we pay for the service and uh, it picks me up about a block away from my house, so it's really convenient. Uh, but the bus rides are really good for me to study or sleep or just talk to friends or meditate or do whatever I feel makes me more relaxed on that day. Being able to balance homework, socializing, and extracurriculars might seem a little bit daunting, uh, when you're approaching high school, but actually think Bronx Science makes it pretty easy to balance all three. So I personally start my homework right after school during that optional 10th period SGI because your teachers are making themselves a resource for you. You can go there with your friends and try to figure out problems along with your teacher. So you're getting that super uh, specialized help and it's a really great time to get work done, get it done correctly and spend some time with your friends. And right after 10th period is when extracurriculars start. So after I finish up my 10th period, I go straight to my extracurriculars. And I think those are a really great time to socialize. I'd also like to add that uh, your high school life is already going to be very academic. So whenever possible, you should try and pursue extracurriculars that genuinely interest you. So at our school, we offer over a hundred different clubs. So you're bound to find some place that you feel passionate about, be it the tea club, the business society, pre-med. We even have a Pokemon appreciation club. So there's no doubt that you can find a place where you feel that you belong. What are some of the opportunities and activities at Bronx Science that specifically stand out to you? Bronx Science offers a summer school program where you can take health, drama, music, and art classes to receive those credits away from the traditional school year. I took summer school before my freshman year, and it was a great opportunity to get to know people and find my way through the halls before the school year even started. Personally, I only needed to take a health class because I was a part of the school choir my freshman year, and those two semesters fulfilled my art credit requirements. Getting these credits out of the way so early in my high school career allowed me to have more frees later on, which I then used to take more electives and classes that I genuinely enjoyed. Here at Bronx Science, we have many different activities, and one of the activities we have here is Model UN. Model UN is a simulation of United Nations committees with students acting as delegates. You'll leave Model UN knowing how to give a speech, how to write better, and overall how to work with others, which is a really important skill to have. 
Here at Bronx Science, we participate in many conferences at the top universities such as Columbia, John Hopkins, George Washington University, etc. So if you're considering Bronx Science seriously, you might already know about the rich and storied history um, of our speech and debate team at Bronx Science. Uh, so accounting for about 10% of the student body, um, our team is one of the largest student organizations that our school has to offer. Um, since our founding in 1969, I believe, we've established ourselves as one of the most dominant scholastic debate organizations in the nation. So across our six amazing squads, we have won every single prestigious national debate tournament, um, including the Tournament of Champions, Harvard, Yale, the Barclay Forum at Emory, and innumerable competitions on the regional and local New York circuits. I have personally done theater for all four years and in all eight productions at Bronx Science. And as is the case for most extracurriculars, I think that's where support systems really come from. You know, whenever anyone would go on stage, we were all cheering each other on. And in the like, depth and deliriousness of those nights, we created shows and we created a lot of friendships that extend beyond just those extracurriculars and throughout your whole time at Bronx Science and even throughout your life. What are some of the traditions that can only be found here at Bronx Science? Every Thursday, we have a 10-minute homeroom where we get to watch episodes of Wolverine TV and receive updates. It's an amazing way to get to see the staff and student body present their love for the school community. Bronx Science goes way beyond its academic rigor, and its traditions are some of the reasons that make me especially enthusiastic to attend every single day. One of these traditions is the Monster Mash, which is our annual Halloween celebration, where we transform the cafeteria into a haunted house and dance like there's no tomorrow. There's also the Spring Carnival, where we fill the courtyard with outdoor activities and bring out more cotton candy than you can possibly imagine. And let's not forget Coffee House, which we have multiple times throughout the year, where we bring in a professional DJ and perform live karaoke during the lunch period. And there are so many other traditions, but you'll just have to live them out for yourself. Bronx Science has endless opportunities for us to unwind, enjoy our teenage years, and connect with people that genuinely make us so happy. Another awesome tradition of Bronx Science is going to the food trucks outside of school. Um, there are a few really special ones that we all love. Uh, right outside the school, we have Jay's, Ned's, and Michelle's. We all love them and we all love the people too. They're, they know a lot of us by name and we have fun conversations about sports or school or whatever we want to talk about. What makes Bronx Science different from other schools? So if you're like me and you're uh, considering Bronx Science and the other specialized high schools, uh, one of the main factors of consideration are, you know, am I going to be with other kids who will challenge me and motivate me? Um, will I be with smart and talented uh, individuals to push me every day to be the best version of myself? Um, and that's certainly true for Bronx Science, but uh, although I think that we have the best and brightest kids in the city, I am aware that there are several other schools with very competitive students, extremely talented and driven. So how do you make that decision? How do you know um, if so many of these schools draw from such a talented student body, how do you make the decision of where to spend your next four years? And I think what distinguishes Bronx Science from these other elite schools is that we are competitive, but also extremely collaborative. So when I entered Bronx Science, I expected a very cutthroat, competitive uh, community where everyone was striving to be the best, even at the expense of other kids. But that's absolutely not the case. If you walk through the hallways of our school, um, you will hear kids puzzling over physics problems or difficult English chapters together, uh, right alongside talking about the latest NBA game or plans after school. Um, so really our talent and our individual success doesn't stratify us, it unifies us. And that's really what makes our school distinct and unique from any other school. It's really a living learning community uh, which has mastered the balance of socializing and intellectual capability at the same time. One thing that is really special about Bronx Science is that, yes, we are an academically rigorous school, but there is a huge spirit of collaboration here as well, and we really encourage that in all of our classes in helping students to not only, you know, learn for grades, but to learn for life and to really be able to leave here ready to make a change in the world and to take those next steps and to have all of the resources available to them to help them to get to that point. For students deciding who they should rank first, what advice do you have? 
Deciding what high school you want to go to is such an important decision because essentially, you're choosing what your everyday life is going to be for the next four years. So now is the time where you really just want to sit down with yourself and reflect on who you are as a person and what your priorities are in life. Are you willing to sacrifice a few extra hours of sleep in favor of getting a higher grade on your English assignment? Are you willing to put in more commitment and hard work than you've ever had to in your life before? Are you willing to step outside of your comfort zone and explore new and unfamiliar things? If you answered yes, then Bronx Science should be at the top of your list. And if not, that's perfectly fine. There are still many other schools that would be happy to have you there. I do know some people that do get 10 hours of sleep that are really good at managing their time. I also want to add uh, that if you are a very、um, arts based student, Uh, our school has a lot of artistic opportunities for you. However, if you really do want to focus on your craft, then I wouldn't really suggest our school for you. You might be a bit frustrated with,、um, as compared to some other schools that offer more opportunities. But if you do want to maybe explore the、uh, combination between arts and sciences, like in my game development program, I'm exploring creating game assets,、uh, making my own characters, and then putting them in video games. So, if you want to kind of explore those, then maybe Bronx Science is the place for you. It's really about what you want to learn from your high school experience and what you want to explore. You may not know what kind of student you are right now, and that's the incredible thing about Bronx Science. You don't have to. In our halls, you get to explore and find that out for yourselves. While you get a foundation of what we're about through a core curriculum freshman year, there are classes that define our curriculum diversity and allow you to study exactly what you're interested in. From game theory, financial and actuarial mathematics, race and gender studies, electrical engineering, and more, there truly are no limits to spending your time and energy in things you're genuinely passionate about. Thank you so much to all our panelists for answering these questions. We hope this video gave you a better sense of what life at Bronx Science is like, and we hope to see you apply soon.